Hey there guys, I'm Kronoid and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. In the last episode we went through Battle of Rock Woods and now we're going to head to Rustboro City. But before that we're actually going to um, grab these berries, which are cherry berries. Oh, that's for paralyzation I think. No, Ross was for um, another one, but I forgot what it was. Ross was for burn. Actually there's also a thing, and, I th and if I'm correct, there is a Pokeball here. Okay, no, I actually wanted to find something else, which is not here, apparently. Oh, that's a potion, of course, it won't, won't be hiding there. Now, but if I'm correct, there is something that's called a rare candy over there, and I really want to try and get that one. Um, no gullible, not yet. Your time to shine is not now. Sorry. Nothing here. Okay, nothing here. If we have fight to fight a Pokemon. This was the one I was looking for, but, you know, I now I don't need it anymore because I found my other flying Pokemon already. Bye, Taylor. Don't need you anymore. That was a super potion. Also not the one I was searching for. Um, I think then the one I was searching for is over there, but I'm not sure. Really depends. If I'm lucky. Or it could also be that it's only in the new, only in the remake, and I just... I'm just wasting precious time. I am wasting precious time, of course. Uh, of course, that's nothing new, really. Not to me, at least. Maybe to some of you it's new, but... To me, it's not really new that I'm wasting time here. So, what I gotta do next is... I gotta go to my bag and... Actually try to heal up. I got three potions. I didn't know I got that many potions. I should have used it a long time ago. Oh, well. So, I'm gonna use... So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fight this little girl. I also noted that I have four Pokemon right now. I noticed that. I'm not sure if I was seeing that correctly. If I am, then... Oh yeah, wait, I am seeing that correctly because we caught a Slackoth in the last episode. I kind of forgot that. Slackoth was, um, trademark. Sorry, trademark, I forgot you existed. Well, um, this seems to be going pretty good. Zexagoon is dead. That, that, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> okay, we defeated Cindy. Oh my. Ooh la la. Cindy has been defeated. Dude! The range! You just got into screen. That's kind of um. That's a little bit too much, if you want to say. Okay. Last, Haley wants to battle. Well, Haley. You can. Oh. Shit. I only have three PP left, so I might actually want to use Satan now. Unless the next Pokemon of this of this person actually is pretty strong. Haley was Haley, right? Yeah, it was Haley. The last the, the last one was Cindy. So let's go use Scratch because I know this is a water type at the same time. Like it's water and grass, so I would normally use Amber, but you know it won't have that much effect because it's a water type. So, level 7, Gullible and Satan both gained 55 experience points. Yeah, Shroom- oh wait, Shroomish, that's actually the better to keep Torchikin, I mean Satan. Sorry Satan, I keep mispronouncing your name. Satan will punish me now. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so, now that's done. Yeah, I think- in a late, you know, a little bit later on, I will make the episodes a little bit longer. <laughs> and that stuff. And I might, and I might cut out trainer battles later on in the game. Really depends on how how long it's gonna take to do each episode. Because as of now, it doesn't take too long to make an episode. It just takes a little bit of time, but it d doesn't take too much time. So yeah. I'm trying to keep the episodes as long and short as possible at the same time. I don't know, I, I like to keep I like to keep them as short as possible and get the most content out of it at the same time. But you know, I can't promise anything. Well what's this? The cutter's house. This is what we need to go into first, because this guy will give us something very important. The determined expression, that limber way you move. And you're a well trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No wait, don't say a word. I can just tell by looking at you. I'm sure that you will be able, capable of putting this HM to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. We got HM01. 
Use a pretty way into that up. That's that's it. HM is cut. An HM move is one is one that can be used by Pokemon out of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down this tree if the trainer has earned the stone bash. And unlike a TM, an HM doesn't break after one use. Okay, this is something you should keep in mind. HMs are moves that are permanently on the Pokemon and will not be able to be removed unless you got unless you go to the move relearner, relearner or the move deleter, actually. What we're gonna do is we are going to give oh Trump the uh, no we're not gonna give him. We're gonna use um, this HM cut on on Trump. Trump has learned cut. So Trump can now cut trees as soon as we got the stone bash. Now there is something else I want to do first, and that is actually head to the Pokemon Pokemart. Good idea, me. I love this. I love this song as well. I really, I'm, I'm really sad that they uh, kept the shops out in the later, in the later games. Or next to Y. It wasn't only X and Y. I, I don't really know. Potion. Certainly, how how many would you like? I think um, just give me a ten. Ten would be good, for, good enough. I don't need super potions by now. Super potions are kind of overrated as of now. I might need them later on, but I'll probably have hyper potions by then. So yeah, nothing real important. Let's go up and see what's happening. No, nothing. No, really? Oh, really? I didn't know. Okay. Then, then the first thing you can do is actually head for the gym. You could do that. Is it a smart idea? Hmm, could be. We're gonna try it out and see if it is a smart idea. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Okay, fine. Show me. Show your moves. Youngster Josh. Reminds me of that, um, that serial Nickelodeon which is called Drake and Josh. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but, uh, yeah. It was a pretty good series. Um, I watched it a lot when I was a kid, not anymore. Now I watch shows like anime. Basically anime. Yeah. Top tier shows. Definitely. High school DXT, man. Yeah, okay, I watch a lot more than high school just high school DXT. I watch like a lot of good shows as well. High school DXT isn't necessarily bad, but it's um overly etchy. And I mean overly etchy really overly but it, it's not necessarily a bad show really I watched the um, I watched the anime completely all three seasons and it has plot and plot it has both plots it has the ditty plot and the plot plot so yeah that's pretty good hey that's pretty good okay now yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight this entire gym with Wingle because I am going to be stupid the bad thing is, my Wingle is weak to um, Rock. Same goes for Torchic. But at least, um, Wingle knows a move that can stand against the Rock type. Which is um, Water Gun. It's really effective against him. So, if you train your tummy, you got some potential. Okay, something when I really did a lot of skid, I saved in front of gym leader always, but I don't have to do this right now because I'm gonna get sent to the Pokemon Center anyways. So let's do that. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rusty Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may so that I may apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you would you kinda of demonstrate how you battle and with and with which Pokemon? And this is a gym battle. And this is uh, the gym battle theme. I like the this is one of the better themes in the series. Um, so yeah, um, I th yeah, okay, this one is going to be easy, easy beats, boom, we got that out of the way, and I think we gained a level, wall, not, okay, we didn't gain a level, no, that's surprising, so now no spaz, this is going to be the more annoying one to, um, to play against, because this one is only rock, so it's not that effective. And it has a rock too. This is gonna hurt badly. Yeah. 
Yeah, guys, that that's how it works. That's how they that's how they roll in this town. I honestly don't really like this because it's really hard. Yeah. So this is gonna mean a lot of training. Trump, do your thing. I don't know what you're gonna do, but do your thing. Tackle. Wow. He Trump did damage. Trump break this wall. No, Trump only built walls. He can't break walls. Wait, this is a female. Oh, gender bent Trump. I'm pretty sure it hasn't been made before. Like there doesn't, there's no, there's no joke that has been made before. Like, yeah, critical hit. Hmm, maybe I, I do have an idea what could, what could work, but I think that's kind of stupid. Yeah. Um, but what we're gonna do is uh, grind a little bit now, so I'll meet you guys back at the Pokemon Center or at the gym. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and um, I want to show this off before I really um, go into the further training. But um, Satan is evolving, so yeah, I want to show that off before I uh, before you suddenly come back. Like, what? What happened to Satan? Well, Satan is now evolving, so um, yeah. Congratulations, your Satan evolved into Combusken. And Satan is gonna try to learn double kick. This is one of the best moves out there for a um, Torchic to get. Double kick. So yeah. Now um, I'm gonna back to, gonna get back to the training. So I'll be right back again. Okay, guys, I'm back and now back at the gym leader. We have a level 14 Gobble and a level 16 Satan and a Trump with another item. Super potion. Cool. So, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to be at the gym later. Sorry if I keep moving back and forth from a microphone, it just um, comes naturally. I need to really get uh, used to getting close to the microphone for this so I can get the most sound, about, most sound out of it. So yeah, let's go. Um, Rosbro gym leader, Roxanne. We're going to beat you now. You are going to get wrecked by me. And... You're gonna get wrecked by a gullible bird. Also, gullible learned wing attack. And, um. Torchic, when it was still Torchic, learned back, so, um. Yeah. So, that's something you should know. Yes, I wanna switch for Nose Pass, I wanna switch Satan in, because Satan is gonna be the one to beat him. And the reason Satan is also a little bit more resistant to rock now, as Satan is also a fighting type, so that's really cool. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, um, that lasted a little shorter than I imagined, but, um, yeah. Okay. It seems like, um, we got the Stone League badge now. You can receive the Stone Badge from Roxanne. The stone badge hides the attack of your Pokemon. Attack of your Pokemon. It also enables the use, use of that HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. We got up, we obtained TM39. It contains rock tomb. It only afflicts damage by it not it not only afflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it can it instantly teaches the Pokemon the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. Well, um, I didn't have to explain it. I didn't have to give an explanation about it apparently, because um, Roxanne already did. Thank Roxanne. You saved me. You saved me the effort. Thank you very much. Get out. Get out of the way. Okay. Wait, please. Don't take my. Don't take my goods. You know that sounds so wrong in so many ways. When you think about it. No. Luckily, I don't think about it, so it doesn't sound wrong. Yes, we're going to do this. But now, we're going to do one more thing before we're going to chase the, the bandits off the magma. We're going to find that one trainer I was talking about before. Pokemon Trainer School. No, it's not the school which you need to go to. It's actually in the house behind the school, it seems. Um, because what's over here, let me show you. You see this kid, huh? 
Well, she's not a kid I meant. Are you the one? No. Maybe I should be at a cutter's house next to the woman that's there. I think that's the one I need to have. I think I'm just really walking around. Where's this house? I'm gonna check this house first. No, this is definitely not a house. Fine. I think I just... I think I'm just being stupid right now, so... Hello, little kid. What do you want? No, you're not the one. What? Am I seriously not finding the one that I need to find? Maybe it's over here. I don't think it is, though. It would make zero sense. Okay, actually, it would make a lot of sense, but... Um, I'm not really talking about that right now. Um, no, it's not... Is it this kid? Is it? Is it? Premier Ball. I got a Premier Ball, but that's not the thing I wanted to get. So let's see what I need to get because I think it's over. It should be here in the city, right? Like I am pretty sure it was in the city. Maybe, maybe I'm just. Maybe it's this guy? No, I don't think it's this guy. That would be stupid if it's this guy. Nope. Is it Jill? No, right? Okay, no, it's not her. And the thing I don't like in the older games, you can't run in houses, and that's kind of pretty bothering because you know. You gotta, you gotta walk slowly. Of course, it's more polite to walk slowly, but um, um, let's see. It's it's not in that house, is it? In this house? No, right? Maybe it is. Special ability. Okay, is it you? No. Then it should be on the second floor, right? Come on, I really, I I was really sure it, it was this. It was in this city. What's hard? Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that was on a purpose sexual innuendo, but a. Hey. It's this house, isn't it? Isn't it? It's this house. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think your you nickname your Pokemon? I give a cool name to mine. But when I call my Pokemon by that name, people laugh at me. If it's okay with you. Want to trade my Yurks Lakoth for my Makuita? This is the one I wanted to talk about. This is this way called Trademark. This so this way I can show you the um trading. Bye bye trademark. Because I can't show it off normally, so I should show it off in game trades. Which is also more than fine. So I'm getting Makuhita, which also has another name in this um because this person named the Makuhita probably a bad name. Makiet. You know, kid? I get why people laugh at you. That's a stupid name. <laughs> Ooh, this is so exciting. Well, I'm glad you like it. Okay, nothing really here. Oh man, my, my neck hurts. So I was not paying attention to the screen. Um, do my Pokemon have full health? Yes, they do. Market. Axe attack. I'm not gonna train Market, I'm gonna put it in a box as soon as possible. Yeah, 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 I'll get it. Oh, it's you. You're the, f you're the fantastic trainer who helped me in Parable Grits. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I have, to de I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Yeah, you're being, you're get you are already in serious trouble anyway, so why not get in more serious trouble? So yeah, um, I got all of the trainers already because it was in the grinding session. It was a little faster to do all the trainers first before I um, do all the other stuff. Okay, this is someone you should remember because this is Mr. Pico. We were, we were on a walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Rawr, Pico! Okay. Same Pico, same. Bocono Pico. I got a Pokeball. Yeah. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Fine. I will. Gra! Keyhaw it all! That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think it made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, do you, so you want to battle me? Yeah, sure am. If you want to. I love this theme. This theme is really nice. 
uh, wing attack. Wing attack is pretty good. So let's do another wing attack on this one. And boom. Seems like that was easy enough. Urgh, my career in crime comes to a, de a dead end. Well, nah, you're, you're probably not a good criminal anyway, so yeah. This is playing not right. The, bo the boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. Tch. You want it back that badly? Take it. Okay, thanks. I didn't really want it back, I just wanted Pico. But whatever. So, hey, Mr. Briny. Pico, I'm so I'm I'm glad to see you're alive. Pico owes a life by to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Mmm. Ah, so you're Ethan. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petaway Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Pio. Okay. Instead of saying Pico, it says Pio. Sounds uh, sounds fair enough, right? I also say Pio every time because I'm a Pico. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, I'm gonna use a wing attack against this one. Let's see if I can kill it one hit. No, I can't, of course. Found me, Daddy. Okay. 69. Or 68, 68, I mean. Sad life. So, Devon Goods. Uh, I can actually get into this house now. Which I don't want. These are more trainers to fight if you want to grind a little bit more. But honestly, I don't want to grind that right now. Grinding time is over. Level 8, Pico. Oh, no, actually, not Pico. That's a tail. Sorry, Pico. Actually, actually, I should have called my... Um, I should have called my Wingo Bokuno Pico. Oh, how did it go? Did that end good? You did. What you did? <laughs> you got him back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Oh, thanks. I'd love to get some more of your balls. Ask me, please. Please come with me. Fine. This is Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how, how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, this parcel you got back for us. Could I get could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard and slave board? It would be awful if this rubbish tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I could count on you f to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here for a second? <coughs> sure, you could wait for a second. That was more than a second, dude. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Thank you. Ba -da -ba -da. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of Devon Corporation. I just got a word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you are delivering a package to Slayport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you could you stop off in Dilford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen to Dilford. Obtain the letter. Ethan put the letter in the I can't spark it. Now, you should know that I am a, I'm a great president. So, I'd never be so cheap to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. A Pokenav, cool. That device, it's a, it's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an in, indispensable tool for any trainer and, and adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can you can check the locations of Dilford and Slayport easily. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Stone. I will go over your name in a little bit. I mean, not a little bit, but probably around the end of the let's play. Unless uh, the time comes earlier. So, yeah. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to head down to Slateport. No, we actually I need to head to Slateport, which is not here yet. May... we You may not want to do that. <laughs> get that? Get it? May not want to do that? Huh. <laughs> it's a joke. Funny jokes. So, what we're going to do now is go down... Luckily, these have, they have these um, things that I can go down upon. Now all I need to do is head to the cottage here with with Mr. Pico, our briny. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Hmm. You're Ethan. You you saved my darling, Pico. We owe you so we so 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 much to you. 
What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Deward and a package for Slateport then? Quite a busy life you must lead. Most certainly. What you're asking is no problem at all. If come to the right man, we'll set sail for Deward. Yeah. Deward, here we come. Anchors away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. This guy has some serious issues. I also love to take the boat because, like, the song is pretty good. Well, there we go. Dewford Town is over here. Ahoy, we have hit land in Dewford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to who was it now? Stephen. Yeah, Stephen. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. We first gonna heal up. I probably don't need to heal up, but I'm gonna heal up anyways. Because healing up is a part of the life. Plus, if you heal up, you can actually have a little bonus, which is just you recited the Pokemon sent to you last, where when you lose. So, for example, if I lose uh, once again, I will be able to do this. I will just be able to spawn here. Um, party Pokemon. I'm gonna use. Oh, I'm gonna put Makuhita or Makit in the box. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.